I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I think. I think I'm ready. Am I ready? <laughs> I need to put more liner on my waterline. Gorgeous. Hi mermaids, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I have a review for you all of the Tiny Marvels palette by Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace Cosmetics. Can we just talk about how gorgeous this artwork is? This is everything. I love it so much. In this video today, I'm going to be giving you all the specifics about this palette. I'll be going into a run through with three different eyeshadow looks using this palette. And then at the very end, I will be giving you my final thoughts. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. And if you are new here, if you have never seen my face before, I'm Danny. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for finding me. I am a makeup lover, makeup junkie, and transgender mermaid goddess from Minnesota. And I upload new content every week, so if you want to do me a favor, just click the subscribe button down below. Also hit that notification bell so that YouTube alerts you to every single time I upload a new video. <laughs> and with that said, welcome to the Mermaid Squad. The Tiny Marvels eyeshadow palette by Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace is $52. It's manufactured in the United States, has a shelf life of 18 months, and you get 15 gorgeous shades and a variety of shimmer and matte textures. And what I love about this palette is that you get, you know, your everyday neutral shades, but there's also some really fun and vibrant pastels in the palette. And I really love the shimmers that she gives you in this palette too. Um, in particular, the Scarab shade right here is absolutely stunning and probably one of my favorites in the palette. And on the Cindy Grace website, they write, we are so happy to introduce Introduce Tiny Marvels, a collaboration with the talented Mel Thompson. The artwork for this palette was done by Mel's friend and tattoo artist Pat Bennett of Red Nimbus Tattoo Club, which is located in Mufreesboro, Tennessee. And this palette reflects Mel's love for bugs and colorful tattoos. Not only is it cruelty free, but it also contains 15 2 gram eyeshadows for a total of 30 grams worth of product in the palette. So you get a lot of product for a really great price. And also I'm just incredibly happy for Mel Thompson. I have been a subscriber to her channel for quite some time now. She and I have communicated off and on on Instagram and she is just one of the sweetest people. Such a genuine person. Um, so I'm incredibly happy for her and her collaboration with Sydney Grace. And I have a spider crawling on my wall. How about that? <laughs> As I'm recording this, the spider is literally crawling down my wall. <laughs> So I think the spider is giving a seal of approval of the eyeshadow palette too. <laughs> Let's dive into the tutorials and then I will end the video after that. So starting out with a Morphe M506, I am going to use this shade right here which is Spider. And I'm just starting by placing that on the outer third of my lid. So bringing it up into the crease. That shade definitely packs a punch. <laughs> and then I just wiped off that brush on my color switch. And now we are going to go into Bugaboo, which makes me think of the Destiny's Child song. <laughs> I would sing it for you, but I'm not going to get a copyright strike. <laughs> and with Bugaboo, I'm just placing it closer in I'm also getting right into the inner part of that eyelid with bugaboo and so far these mattes are performing beautifully I'm going to go into mantis next and I'm picking that up on a Morphe M514 you know I have to dip into this green and with it, I am just kind of softening the upper edge of where I laid down Spider. The 
shade is so beautifully pigmented. Ooh, and I love it with spider. And I mean, you know me, we love, love, love a good green eyeshadow. And then I just wiped off the brush again on my color switch. So I'm gonna be using the same exact brush. And this time we're gonna go into Jewel B, which is right here. It's that gorgeous kind of lavender-y purple. And with this one, I'm just gonna tuck it like right around this area. Don't be afraid to get up in there and get close to that eyebrow. This is absolutely gorgeous. These mattes are just literally blending themselves. And I just took a little bit more spider and then the shade next to it, which is Bugaboo, and I am working it up to those transition colors above the crease. And just making sure that the blend between all of those is really nice. Gorge. I think what I'm gonna do next is pop a shimmer onto the lid. You know I gotta do it. I gotta go into this Scarab shade right here. This looks like an absolutely incredible duochrome. And I'm picking that up on a JH41 from Morphe. Ooh, that is pigmented. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. And buttery and smooth and richly pigmented. That is insane. And there was a little bit of fallout with that, but that's okay, because I'm gonna do my base later. So next up, I'm gonna dip back into Spider. I'm just using this on the outer third of my lower lash line. Let's blend that into Walk and Stick. That is a beautiful kind of khaki green. I love that shade. Mel, this is gorgeous. Get it, girl. Now is a good time to jump into Bumblebee. This one right here. And I'm just oh, <laughs> pigmented. Um, I am just applying this to the inner portion of my lower lash line, the inner portion version. The pigment on that just goes on and on. And then I want to add an inner corner highlight. So with a teeny, teeny, tiny brush, this one is by Makeup Academy Professional and it is a 315 brush. I am going to be going into the shade Fire Butts <laughs> right here and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. I have to wipe off my brush that's so pigmented. And I'm wondering if I should go green with Fenty Beauty Bank Tank, or if I should do my purple again, which is Piggy Bank from ColourPop, or this blue, probably not the blue. Or I could go really, really intensely smoky with um, this Neutrogena Smoky Gray. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to two. I don't know, I'm feeling the Neutrogena, so I think I'm gonna use that one in my waterline. I just literally got home from work. It is currently almost 7.30 in the evening. And now I am going to dive into tutorial number two using Mel's palette. So, and my hair is wet, so my apologies. I just got out of the shower. I'm all fresh, fresh as a daisy. Again, there is the color story. So last time I used the green, the gold, scarab, and some of these deeper tones. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I'm gonna start out again with the shade Spider and I'm using my Morphe M506 
and again I am just applying that to the outer portion of my lid and then I'm just going to do the same shade on the inner third and then with my Morphe M514 I'm going to go into Love Bug next and this I'm just using to blend out the spider shade I also forgot to put some of Spider right here, so I'm just going to do that. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day. Alright, and then next I am going to go into this shade, which is Flutter By. Whoa, okay. Woo! There's a lot of kick up in the pan. In this shade, I'm just going to take right around here only need a tiny bit of this. It is incredibly pigmented. Going back in with a little bit more spider just to deepen up that crease again. And then I'm taking a little bit more of that mauve which is Love Bug and I'm just lightly building up that shade some more in the transition area. Let's dive into Meadowhawk. Ooh, this one's pretty. So I'm going to move on to the lower lash line, and the next shade that I'm going to take, I am going to dip into this shade, which is Jewel B. Closer to the lash line, I'm going to go back into Spider. And I'm just using a little bit of Love Bug, which is the shade right around here, um, just to blend out the outer edges of the lower lash line. Towards the inner corner, I'm probably going to go into Marvel. And then with that same brush, I'm going to go into web, and this I'm just applying to my inner corner. Oh my god, that's bright. So I'm thinking in the waterline, I'm going to put Piggy Bank from ColourPop, which is one of my favorites. Oh, that's so pretty! Hey! I'm going to go off of camera, do the other eye, do the rest of my makeup probably add some liner and lashes and then I will come back and I will show you the final look. Okay, so I am back with wet hair yet again and my AC is also running again, so perfect time to record another tutorial. So I've used every single shade in this palette with the exception of Death Moth right there and then Tree Hopper right there. So I'm going to start with Death Moth and I'm picking that up on a Morphe M456. This shade I am placing on the outer third of my lid, bringing it into the crease. Using windshield wiper motions. That's a gorgeous shade, for real, real. And this is pretty much the shape that I'm going for. It's very similar to the previous two as far as like the structure of the look. With another Morphe M456, let's go back into Mantis. And this shade I am just going to put around the edges of Death Moth. So we're going for more of a full on grungy green fantasy. It's going to be very swampy. And 
and I love this pastel green. It is so freaking beautiful. And I'm getting right up into this little, this little nook. That blend is everything. It is blended for the gods. You guys, I never plan out my looks ahead of time. I'm just a very go with the flow type of person. I just like to come up with something on the fly. It's just my type of creativity. What I haven't done as of yet is use one of these shimmer shades on the brow bone. So I'm gonna go into web right there and I'm just picking up a little bit of this and I'm just placing it right underneath of the arch of my eyebrow. So next I'm gonna take the shade Fire Butts. Fire Butts. And I'm just going to pop that directly in the center of the lid for a nice little spotlight right there. We're gonna go back in with our Morphe M456 that has Death Moth on it and just soften the edges of that Fire Butts shade. I'm going to take that same brush that I used for my brow bone highlight and I'm going to pick up more of that same shade that I used as my brow bone highlight and I'm just going to pop that like right here and use it as my inner corner highlight. I think I'm going to go purple on the lower lash line and I'm going to start with Love Bug. And I'm picking that up on a Morphe M506. And I'm really just slapping this on my lower lash line. And I'm also kind of carrying it down a little bit so that we have some smokiness happening. And then with that brush that has Death Moth on it, I am just going to connect the upper lid to the lower lid on the outer portion. I'm struggling to find my descriptive words tonight. What I'm gonna do next is add some depth right at the base of my lashes. So I'm gonna take this square push liner brush. This is from Melt Cosmetics and it is their 25 Precision push liner brush. And I'm picking up the shade Spider right there. And I'm just putting that right in the base of my lashes. Going back in with that brush that has whatever is left of Death Moth on it and just softening Spider. That is pretty much the look. What am I going to put in my waterline? This I think would be super fun. This is the shade Crossed, C-R-S-S-D from ColourPop. So this is what we have thus far. I'm going to go off of camera, do the other eye, do the rest of my makeup, and then I will come back and show you the final look. BRB. To wrap up my thoughts on this palette, would I recommend it? You betcha ass I would. <laughs> I would totally recommend this eyeshadow palette. I think it's fantastic. It's totally worth the money. I think the work that went into it totally shows. The shades in and of themselves perform beautifully. The shimmer formula is gorgeous. I really didn't expect anything less than that from Mel because Mel knows eyeshadows like the back of her hand. If you're looking for my review, there it is. It's a fantastic palette. I've used it three times already and I just really love it. And I love the artwork and just everything from the inside to the outside of the palette is just well done. So congratulations Mel, I am incredibly happy for you and I would say if you are on the fence about going and getting it, definitely pick it up. There is currently a pre-order happening for the eyeshadow palette and I will link the link. I will link the link. I will link that down below so that you can go and check it out on the Sydney Grace website. So with all that said, I'm gonna go. 
Um, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to thumbs us up if you liked it. Leave me some love in the comments section below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!